guys today i'm going to be teaching you guys how to make this defense tank game in scratch now it's not too hard but it will get a little bit more difficult as the series progresses and in the next couple parts so as always i've provided you guys with art so i've linked it in the description leave a like for that obviously it's best if you don't copy mine and if you take inspiration instead but whatever works for you guys and we're just going to get started so we're going to actually leave the sprite. Usually we delete it, but we're not. We're going to press this button here so we can upload some art. And we're going to start with our tank. So we're going to open this. And you can see we have this white tank right here. Now you can't really see it because the background is white. So what we're going to do is go into our stage and then click this button here and bring in the, bra uh, the background. There we go. Easy as that. So the next thing we want to do is in the code, we want to drag in a one flag is clicked. And in terms of the look section, we want it to show obviously, we want it to go to the front because this is our main sprite. So once we've done that, we can create a new one flag is clicked and we're just gonna create a variable called tank speed. So this is gonna control how fast your tank is gonna go. So for example, the reason we use a variable instead of just a number is because if we wanna change the speed of the tank, it's gonna be a lot easier to do it this way. Also, something else that I found very easy, I mean, very good, is that we can make power-ups so that when you want to, like if there's a power-up to make your um, uh, tank go faster, all you have to do is change this one variable. So when the game starts, we're gonna set tank speed to four, and here we're just going to say forever point towards mouse pointer because we want to do that but also what you need to do is drag in an if and then drag in a key spaces pressed and instead of that we're going to put d because we're going to be using wasd or you can change it to arrow keys whatever you guys like and change x by then go into the this section and all you have to do is change this to 1 and change this to tank speed. So we can change that number if we want to make it go faster, but this is just a scalar multiplier, but you guys don't need to worry about that. So we need to do this for all four sides. So we're just going to go like that. And the next thing we're going to do is press A. And so A, we just change this to negative 1, so it goes in the opposite direction. And then for up, it's going to be W. And we're going to say change y by, so go into motion, drag in a change y by, and drag in another one right here. Then we can change this here, put that there, and change this to negative 1, and change this to s. So essentially what I've done is created controls with WASD, pretty easy. You guys should all be familiar with that, but we're just going to put this here. Now let's play our game, and you can see... That it moves now it does seem a little bit laggy that's just because i'm recording on my screen but it should look fine in yours the next thing we want to do is create this really cool like scope kind of thing and so in order to do that all we have to do is go into this sprite and just say when flag is clicked forever go to sprite tank white so this is something that has taken me a while to understand but i finally got it so it's actually not too hard but what we're gonna do is create a new block so if you guys don't know how what how this works essentially um i've created a tutorial on it and you can check it out on my channel i'll leave it in the description or just comment if you don't find it and so basically we get to create our own block so if you don't understand just follow along it's fine so this is just going to be rendering a line and we're going to add some inputs we're going to add an x1, a y1, an x2, and a y2. So essentially all that's happening is it's gonna draw a line from these points to these points. So we're gonna say pen up, clear, set pen color to whatever it has, it doesn't really matter, we can change it later. Set pen size to five. And so, like I said, we're going to go to the first position first. So go to X1, Y1. And then we're going to put our pen down. And then just duplicate this. And change it to X2, 
Y2. There you go. Not too hard. And then we want to drag the pen up. So let's talk about this. I've created a tutorial about the pen tool, and you guys can check that out. It's just explaining what it does in a very brief standpoint. So basically what this is doing is pen up means it's not going to draw. It's going to clear the whole screen. It's going to set pen color to whatever you have. And it's going to set the pen size to 5. So that's a good uh, width I found. And then it's going to go to this position, the first position. It's going to put the pen down, so now it's drawing, and go all the way to the second position and then pen up. So you guys will see how cool this looks in a little bit. So all we need to do is drag this here. And for the first one, you're going to put X position of tank white and then Y position of tank white and then mouse X here and mouse Y because we want to draw a line from the tank to our thing. So there you go. It's as easy as that. Now, one thing we can do to hide this is I think that, yeah, so we just do one flag clicked high. There you go. That's essentially all you need. It's pretty easy. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create, um, actually, I'm going to leave that. Uh, we're going to change this because it looks kind of weird. Looking for a... Uh, Hmm. I'm looking for something in between. Okay, there we go. That's what I wanted. So just find the color, whichever one you like. And this is all we have. So as you can see, it looks pretty cool. We can move this guy around. And then all that'll do is it will just point towards this. So we can add a scope. Just go here. This is optional. And... I think I've created one. Yes, I have. So leave a like for that. And I'm going to put that there. And all you guys have to do for that is... Oh, it's really big. When flag is clicked, forever... We don't want it to be that dark, so we're going to say set ghost effect to something like... Let's see. This is just going to change the opacity. Change ghost effect to 90, and then simply go to mouse pointer there you go and you can see that it looks like that we'll just change the size so set size to like 20 percent there you go yeah we're gonna add bolts next time that's gonna be it for this tutorial thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time comment what you want and peace out